And we are beginning tonight with the food bank from Monterey County back in business nearly a month after an arson fire ripped through its loading dock. And while things are looking up for the food bank, police and fire are still struggling to identify the person that was responsible for that arson. Action News reporter Bryn Whitaker is live from the food bank with our top story. Dan, I'm standing out here in front of the newly repaired loading dock at the food bank. That's just one of the many repairs that they had to make to reopen their doors today. This community has spoken and they say we don't want anyone in this county to be hungry. Thanks to more than half a million dollars worth of donations, the food bank for Monterey County is running at full capacity once again. We were able to ensure that nobody in this county went hungry. Local organizations like the Community Foundation for Monterey County and the United Way have all chipped in. The latest donor is the Salinas Californian. The newspaper raised more than $75,000 with help from its readers. All of the donation money went towards redoing the main warehouse, repairing the truck loading dock, and filling the shelves with food. Just the outpouring of support and generosity, it's quite frankly, it's just overwhelming. As the food bank ramps things up, the fire and police departments continue to look for answers. So far, they have no concrete leads for finding this suspect, which is troubling to the fire chief. This person lit a fire, but came back multiple times to make sure that the fire really got going. So it's not their first time they've done it. They have some experience. That's a very dangerous individual. They need your help and are asking you to come forward if you recognize this person in the surveillance video. Please, someone that knows this person, knows what happened, can identify them, please come forward before this person strikes again. I mean, they struck our most vulnerable in the community, and it's just a matter of time before this person strikes again, unfortunately. And Salinas police are offering a $6,000 reward for someone who can give any information that will lead to an arrest in this case. They also want to remind people that tips will remain anonymous. Dan. All right, thanks very much. Appreciate it, Brent. Although the food bank is now able to take in food, they are asking that you hold off for donations for another week as they get settled in.